people. Hello, new people. Are you ready for another chapter of Super Seducer? <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> well, you better be. So, again, to recap, we did the crazy squirrel lady who fed almonds to squirrels. We did one of the two girls in the bar. We did the twerk attack on the lady on the dance floor. We did the girl sitting in the coffee shop. We did the friend to the girlfriend. We did the first date with Alexa. And we did the lady from the restaurant. I was born ready. <laughs> uh, so now we're playing. Are we playing the wingman? Come on. Your wingman isn't the smoothest, but he's a good guy. And with your help, he'll, he'll finally get lucky. Do you have what it takes to be a great wingman? All right, okay. I'm good at wingman. <laughs> I can do this. I was born for wingman. <laughs> this is my calling. I can do wingman. Oh god, what type of guy is the best wingman? A, a duff? <laughs> um, an attractive guy. Ex-girlfriend. Not an ex-girlfriend. Uh, ugly guy who makes you look good by comparison. Hmm. But then an ugly guy wouldn't be able to like get in there with the team, so it's like attractive guy. Yeah. Out with someone that makes you look good, they should be. Um, they should look pretty good if possible. <laughs> at least dress well. Um, they should we be someone it. that puts you in a good mood, has a positive energy, and if possible, you know, one that actually likes talking to girls. <laughs> you mean I can't invite my gay friend to be wingman? Set. Wait, hang on. No, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I was right. <laughs> uh, will you set up code words? Set up code words to use while talking to girls. Don't set up code words. Uh, code words. Oh, thank you, Manny. You're hosting me. Well, first, we need to set up <laughs> some code words, right? Yeah. So if you're talking to a girl, but then you decide you like that one, then you're going to say, this girl's crazy. And that means you like that girl. Okay. And then if you like the other one and you want to do the switcheroo, you're going to say, oh, Richard, I was just thinking about that time in Italy. All right, that yeah. one. And then if Am I going to have to remember these? Yeah, you don't like the girls, you can just say, I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to go as well. Whatever, right? If we don't yeah. if we don't like them. If you like the girl and you want to take her home, then you can just say, what could you say? Uh, does anyone want some chewing gum? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, God, so my brain is exploding. Ones. Yeah, this game. Yeah. I actually really like. I actually really like this game. It's if really you funny. If you with your friend and you talk to lots of girls, you would find that you have situations where you said, well, "I thought you liked her." No, no, I didn't. Well, why was I talking to her friend for thirty minutes? I don't know. I thought you liked your friend. So, <laughs> in order to avoid all these kinds of uh, miscommunications that can happen, it makes sense to just spend a little time thinking about the possible eventualities and coming up with the code words. Even though it does sound a bit geeky, it actually really helps in practice. Code word! <laughs> Dude, I don't know what it is, but I feel like you're gonna get lucky tonight. That guy is so tall! Yeah, I feel it to me. Uh oh, look at those two. Well, yeah. yeah. Which one do you like? I like the blonde one. I don't know. I don't know what to say to her. Say hi! You don't know? <laughs> go on, give it a go. No, I don't know. I don't want to be embarrassed. Mm, Alright. You won't be embarrassed. Okay. Take a hundred dollars from him and say you'll give it back if he approaches. <laughs> Tell him that if he doesn't go and talk to them, you will. And you'll speak uh, loudly so that everyone can hear. Tell him to have a shot and give him some comfort. <laughs> I'm taking his money. I tell you what, um, yep. have you got any cash, any notes? Mm. Just while we wait, I've got yeah, something cool. Yeah, probably. I'm going to show you a magic trick. Yeah. Here you go. Right, so I'm going to take this hundred dollars, put oh. it in my pocket, and it's going to make you talk to those girls. Richard, come because on. Because you're not getting it back <laughs> until you talk to them. Well. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I like that. Rather than you guys just hanging out at the bar, not doing anything, and having a shitty night, why not um, use this as a way to get each other talking to women? <laughs> you both go in together your friend goes in while you wait a moment you go in first to so scope things out then your friend goes in your friend goes in while you wait a moment yeah going in together is what a lot of guys do it doesn't work too well <laughs> much better if one of you goes in kind of warms things up first what should i say uh give him the are you girls male bashing line Tell him to use, sorry I'm late traffic, this crazy opener. <laughs> Say to use the tried and tested, 
engagement opener. <laughs> Tell him to just go off and grab her ass. Tell him to just be himself and talk about Star Wars. No, don't talk about Star Wars. The new movies are crap. <laughs> that, that's gone. We can't use that one anymore. Uh, I think because she's in a group, if you open with something like, oh, sorry, I'm late, then nobody is going to be like, who the fuck are you? Because everyone will assume that someone in the group knows them. That's just my theory. So just try this. Go up to them and like, oh, I'm sorry I'm late. You know, as if they were waiting for you. And they'd be like, huh? But then they think it's funny. Excuse me? If you want? <laughs> go for it. Go, go yeah, for it. So You're the guinea pig. So okay, so wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, you are? You know, it's okay. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the traffic was horrible. Oh, I um, thought they were a big are? group. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Greg. I'm Greg. Vicky. And you? Monica. It is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you. This one's okay, but it might be hard for him to pull it off. So he could choose a better opening line in this case, but Shut also face. worse one. So it wouldn't get him blown out. It'd get him, in, get him in there, but it's not the best one. What was the best one? How long will you wait to join? Um, and you can't grab her ass because the other girl might be jealous. Well, that's why you have two hands. You have two hands. Like, you can't grab both cheeks, but you can just come up in between and get them from both sides and pull them together. <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's the technical way of doing it. Um, let's see, one minute or ten minutes? I feel like one minute, but we kind of did send... Mm, I mean, I would watch to see if he was struggling. Like, does he look like he's drowning? But let's say ten... Oh, way too long. What's he going to do in there for 10 minutes all alone with two girls? It's tough. I mean, and there's a lot of things man, you can do with really 10 minutes. Him. <laughs> fine, fine, one minute. You want to allow enough time for him to say something to the girls, get a response, go a little bit further than that, get them comfortable, uh, make sure that they feel good, and then you join exactly at that time. If it's too early or too late, um, it could be all wrong and mess things up. So around a minute looks right but when they're kind of engaged in a conversation together ideally smiling you can get in there let's see what will you say as you join them come in and say sorry is he bothering you uh come and say i see you've met the local serial killer <laughs> hey mate so who are these two pretend to throw up on them uh hey mate who are these two well, what an amazing party. Yeah, it's such a nice club. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. Hey, mate, who are these two? <laughs> oh, this is Vicky and Monica. Hey. Hey. Hi. I'm Greg Ben <laughs> Richards. Nice to meet you. Monica. Um, Monica, right? Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's correct, because <sighs> you don't want to just talk to him, take the attention of the girls away, and it's maybe a bit strange to just suddenly start talking to the girls. So it's correct to quickly engage your friends but ask him to introduce you and then you can go on to talking to the girl wingman powers activate no. uh give your attention to your friend give your attention to both girls give your attention to the girl your friend likes give your attention to the girl your friend doesn't like yes so what do you like to do in your free time well uh, i like reading yeah what do yeah. you read well now I read Harry Potter books. Really? Yes. Oh my god. What? No, that's bad. So it means you're like 12 years old? No. Yeah. 14? No. 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 Nothing. Legal! <laughs> young girls read Harry Potter. No. It's not. Have you ever read Harry Potter? Yeah, I read the first one. Yeah. Uh, didn't like it. And I watched Same the second here. movie. Oh, oh yeah. you know. Didn't yeah. like it. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's popular, but I thought it was, you know, children's thing. But no, absolutely not. No? no? It's got some good stuff. Yes, I think you should try it. Yeah. I did like that she gave all the money to charity, JK Rowling. You know, yeah, she's, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's very cool. So yes, that's really good. Like so it's good that you're supporting. If you, did you pay for it? Or you for books? Yeah, or yes. you downloaded it. No, 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 I paid. That's I bought, good. I bought it for you. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Well done, you're being a good wingman. That's exactly right. Um, you want to help him out this time. Maybe he'll help you out this next time. And by talking to the other girl exclusively, you free him up to do his thing with the girl that he's into. Wingman powers! Okay. Tell her about Fifty Shades of Grey and Sex Dungeons. <laughs> it's rare to read books these days. Well done. Do most of the talking about your reading. Hmm. 
It's rare to read books these days. They're really relics too, of a lost but time. Don't you think it's rare these days? Like everyone's on Instagram and just distracted by yeah. stuff. Well, you know, maybe bots, my friends yeah. read it's all the time, so. Club. Yeah? Yeah. We should start a reading club. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah, yeah, just, I think they do that, right? Like everyone reads the same book and then yeah. talks about yeah, it. Yeah, it's actually it's really cool. Yeah. Thing. So I'm supposed to talk about Harry no, Potter with girls? You know, you I don't know. He, he was pretty much like, no, fuck Harry Potter this time. Time, whole time. <laughs> no, I, I believe the trick is to talk about Fifty Shades Grey. <laughs> when you're being the wingman, you want to make your girl feel good and comfortable. That means that you don't yeah, that, have to that's the so trick. Teasing and things like that. But you do need to. It's, it's how you find out if she's legal. It's just like, oh, you're 12, 13, 14, nice good enough for me. She's happy to talk to you, but maybe not too much so that she likes you. Yeah. Mm, by the way, what are you drinking there? Champagne. It's yeah. pretty good, actually. So oh, cool. The Cheers. fuck are we at? <laughs> We're just oh, ladies, uh, let me Sorry. get another one. Oh, thank you. Uh, you're supposed to teasingly, teasingly yeah. insult her. Like, very, very, like, very fine line. You're meant to be like, you know, if she likes bunny rabbits, you're like, oh, so you're into those girly, girly things. Well, that, that's where I'm getting from this, anyway. Tell the girls an embarrassing story about him. Tell the girl, tell his girl that he likes her and she is a lucky girl. Try and steal both girls for a threesome while he's away. <laughs> tell them about a great book you read recently. Tell a story about a time when he really helped you out and why you were best friends. Hmm, that feels that feels good, Wing Manny. You know, Greg, he's actually my best friend. Such a great guy because. You know, I've got lots of friends, but you never know who would really be there for you, right? But there was this one time where I just had this horrible situation, broke up with my ex-girlfriend, and I called him at like four in the morning, <laughs> and he said, I'm going to be there right away. And oh, he wow. got out of bed, came to me, and was talking to me, you know, all through the morning. And, and stuff, that's how sleep. I found out Greg and was gay. Really made me feel <laughs> and I knew Talk to us, girls. He said, oh, I've got to sleep, I'm busy, I'm going to work tomorrow, <laughs> whatever. But he was really there for me, so... Since that day, I realized, you know, he's a super guy. And wonderful. That's yeah. why he's so friend. nice to have such a wonderful friend. Yeah. Wingman powers activate! This is one of the <laughs> most powerful moments in the entire game, because if you can do this kind of thing <laughs> for your friends, and if they can do it for you, it has a huge effect. When you say things about yourself, it's bragging, it's bad. But yeah. when someone else says something about you, it's incredibly powerful. So think about something nice that you can say about your wingman, and try it next time. Yeah, okay, so that's good anyway. I'll Look, hey Rish, he needs my help. I'll just get the drinks. Hang on a second. <laughs> All right, what have you got here? What did you get me, whiskey coke? Yeah. Coke is a double. <laughs> They're doing the looks. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, so cheers. cheers everyone. Cheers. Oh. Music is way too pumped for this situation. It's a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> and you normally drink champagne. Yes, I really yeah. like it. Yeah? What yeah. about cocktails? No. Vodka? No. Beer? No, no, definitely How about beer? No, I really yeah. like the taste. Yeah, I don't like beer at all, actually. It's strange, yeah. but yeah. hang on a second. Hi, it's my mum. Yeah, it was her birthday yeah, today. She's wow. just saying, like, thanks again and yeah. whatever. Have a look. Oh, she looks young. Whoa, she's so pretty. Yeah, she looks young, right? That's why you're so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> you look like your mother. <laughs> Be cold and tell her you have a girlfriend. Tell her you have a girlfriend, but you can still have sex. Game her to the same extent as if you really liked her. <laughs> Thank you. That's nice of you to say. And actually, you're so pretty. You've got Thank such a you. sweet smile. Thank you. Nice to hear. <laughs> but you're a little bit shy, right? Am I right? Maybe a little Thank bit. <laughs> but that's cute. I like shy girls. Thank you. Yeah, shy girls are normally good girls. But there's, what is it they say? Is I, I, don't, I don't ones? think, yeah, yeah, I don't think that's like true. English expression. I think the, the shy ones, ones are the ones more likely to whip yeah. you. Maybe. <laughs> Game of the year, make it happen. Maybe. Right. <laughs> the worst oh. situation here is if 
your girl gets bored and wants to leave and drags his girl away. Okay. And girls often do that because they're way more loyal than guys. So you need they to did. keep your girl interested. They did. And so <laughs> as far as you can without being This dishonest, is true. Th these girls are not very savvy. They drunk out of they drunk out of glasses that they did not see prepared. That's actually a good that's a good observation there, Manny. <laughs> Uh, keep the girl side by side. Turn your girl away from her friends by moving around to the outside. That's it. Separate the pack! When the girls can see each other, they can find a moment, you know, where there's a lull in the conversation, um, and they can get out of there. If you turn them away so they can't see each other without kind of, uh, you know, looking back, then it makes it much harder for the conversation to break up for either party as long as they can't see each other. So it's the correct option. <laughs> what food do you like? Well, I am a vegetarian mm. for six years now. At least she didn't say <laughs> vegan. And you still alive? <laughs> yes, as you see. <laughs> okay, no, but seriously, do you feel healthier with it? Yes, actually, I feel much better. Okay, seems quite. Um, no vegetarians! Moment, keto! Keto all the way! Menus, like this one, Cowspiracy, Forks Over Knives. Mm. And it's all, you know, about how eating meat is bad for the environment, having plant proteins or whatever is better. So Actually, do you know what's even cool. better than plant protein and cows general, is supposedly well, yeah, insects. So. Insects are the unharvest yeah, meat. So I just can't oh. eat them, you <laughs> know. Do you have some animals? Yes, I have a dog. Dog yeah, tastes good. <laughs> no, I, I have fish. I have an oh. aquarium with fishes. <gasps> he said fishes! Insects! I, I am I am totally serious. That That is a frontier that they want to cross. Uh, because obviously nobody really wants to eat insects because naturally we're kind of like, ugh, insects are gross. But uh, no, like apparently you can cook them up and they just taste like meat. So if if we could get people to eat insects, it would be like, no, I'm not having a giggle. I'm not. It's it's a real thing. My friend was trying to convince me to join the insect diet, eat crickets and shit. <laughs> I I ate a lot of insects in China. I had I also had a scorpion and a spider, and they all just sort of taste like chicken. Just everything that isn't a meat you've already had before tastes like chicken. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Um, find out logistics. If they live together, if they work the next day, talk about her hobbies, tell her about your hunting safari in South Africa. <sighs> uh, let's get the schedule, because we're wingman. Well, no. <laughs> no. She likes me. I did okay. eat some cat. But do you live together? My friend told me I no, didn't have no. to go all the way to China yeah, to eat pussy, but here we are. Did you live with <laughs> <laughs> well, I live alone, actually. Okay, that's good. And tomorrow... Actually, what do you... Do you guys work? Are you working tomorrow? Well, let me think. No. No, yes. you're both free. That's yes. cool. That's nice. Get to relax. Yes. I've got to work, but it's okay. Well, <laughs> doesn't matter if I'm tired. <laughs> Guilty. I did meme you. I'm Anytime sorry. Anytime you're meeting girls <laughs> out in the night, then you want to find out stuff like whether they live together. You know, all this stuff comes under logistics. We will make this threesome possible. It's very important <laughs> when it comes to uh, deciding on the next steps and if you'd be able to take these girls somewhere else or to your house. <gasps> Wait, man, power's Seems activated. Seems like they're getting on very well together. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Offer to take pics and direct him to touch her up. Did you know I'm a licensed pastor? I think I should marry you guys right now. Proceed to perform a ceremony with I do's and say you may now kiss the bride. Do I have a cat? Not anymore. No. <laughs> no, I never had a cat. I swear I didn't eat the cat. Like I said earlier, uh, I, I am a bird person. I like budgies and java sparrows. You know, those sort of things. But I don't have a bird right now. Very sad bird. I like birds. Oh, there's actually two dogs though. <laughs> Oh wait, I guess I technically have a cat. <laughs> kind of. I had a pet pigeon once, uh, like a rescue, a rescue pigeon. <laughs> oh, he was called Chadwick. <laughs> if you've ever played Hateful Boyfriend, you would understand. <laughs> That's another great game. I should play that on a stream. I love Hateful Boyfriend. It's wonderful. Just really funny. Uh, he's a licensed pasture. Pasta. He's a licensed pasture. Chadwick, did it have AIDS? I mean, I didn't fuck it, so I never found out. Uh, <laughs> but I hope not, because I released him back into the wild, so I hope he's okay. <laughs> um, tell the friend, your girl, how good they look together, and encourage the connection. 
Okay, well, my work here is done. You guys have fun. Leave the group. Uh, tell the friend, your girl, how good they look together and encourage the connection. Encourage the connection. For shame! I'm sorry. Yeah, they look great together. First, they're actually yeah. both quite tall, so they match like that. Because he actually likes tall girls, and it's so hard yes. for him to find someone in his height. That's <laughs> really Oh, so he's really such a nice guy. How is Flush she? the pigeon girl? down the low. After he fucked it, of course. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, the, that's the first step. You've got to stop it, Turkey. Let's see what happens. God, that must be like the weirdest thing to like fish out of a sewer. saying it to the friend, because you know that after this interaction, they're going to speak about him, and you want the girl that you're talking to to be saying very nice things about your friend, so it's the correct choice, nice one. <laughs> I'm winning today. Okay. Uh, let your friend decide what to do next. Suggest a swingers party. You suggest going somewhere else. Persuade your girl uh, to so that she persuades the friend. Let the friend decide. <laughs> we'll let the yes, friend go. I think as well anyway, but um, hang on a second. Yo, Greg. Yo, wh what do you want to do, man? Oh, maybe we should go bowling. Bowling now? Yeah. It is 1 a.m. It's a good time for bowling. What do you think, girls? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, no, I don't think it's a good know? idea, no. It will be great. Come on. You're already wearing <laughs> their bowling shoes, aren't they? No, no they're yeah. not. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they really didn't like the bowling um, idea. <laughs> that mm, face. See, you left it to him, and he's a dumbass, isn't he, right? You're <laughs> the wingman. You need to help him out. <laughs> you left it to him, and he's a dumbass, isn't he? Um... You suggest going somewhere else. Persuade your girl so that she persuades her friend. Okay. Monica, what do you think? This place is getting a bit yeah. dull, right? Yeah. Maybe we should make a move after party time, yeah? I think it's a good idea. Right, let's get yeah. Deco and Greg and get out of here. Yeah. yeah. Guys, go yeah. for after party? Yeah, it will be great. Yeah, come on. Come on. She wants to. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. All my yeah. ideas are good. Cool. Okay, let's go. Alright, let's go. Win! <laughs> Now, how long do I have to be wingman, Brilliant. or did this is I just exactly win? exactly the way to do it. Um, you don't want to leave it to him, and you want to first persuade your girl so that there's two people that already want to do the thing, then your friends are going to be three, and the final girl is going to agree to it because, you know, she's just going to be outvoted. Win! <laughs> Super seducer! I win! You want to go out with someone that makes you look good. They should be... Um, they should I only got this one wrong. <laughs> well. Alright, what do you think, chat? What do you think? Do we do another round? Have we got time? We've got plenty of time. We started early today. <laughs> also, bye bye people on YouTube.